Hi there, this is Pastor Rich, and I just wanted to give a uh, recap of this morning's sermon where we looked at an event in the life of Jesus found in John chapter 2, verses 13 through 17, where he had gone up to Jerusalem, up to the temple to worship for Passover. When he got there, he found that there were people profiting unfairly off of the people coming to worship. They were selling the animals, they were temple approved animals, the, they had the money changers changing the money at a high price and really they were using this event to take advantage of the people trying to worship God. When Jesus saw this, Jesus got angry. He made a whip, he chased these guys out of there and we see that that's how Jesus responded. Now, we know that Jesus, he's our example and we are supposed to follow in his footsteps. But at the same time, when we read the Bible, the Bible tells us that we are to cease from anger. The Bible tells us that we are to get rid of our anger, that those outbursts of anger and wrath, that those are really the work of the flesh. Jesus in, in uh, Matthew chapter five, he even relates anger to murder, saying that really if we have, if we're angry at our brother, Without cause, it's the same thing as murder. We see that the Bible tells us that we are not supposed to have this anger in our hearts. So what's going on here? Why is it okay for Jesus, but it's not okay for us? Well, we look at what the difference is, and the difference really has to do with the type of anger. Jesus, he had a righteous anger, a godly anger, an appropriate anger. He saw things from God's perspective and he could see that people were ripping off the people trying to worship God. And this is something that would upset God. And we see that he was angry. Now, if we look at how we get angry, usually what happens is it's a self-centered anger. It's an anger because somebody has done something to me. Somebody has hurt me. Somebody has hurt my family. Somebody has taken something from me. And so now this emotion comes up of anger. Now, if we have that anger within us, it'll hurt us. And God says, hey, get rid of that, that you're not supposed to have that. God's word says in Ephesians 4, 26 and 27, do not let this day end without dealing with that anger. And so today what we did was we really looked at this issue of anger. How do we deal with it? What are we supposed to do? What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say when somebody does an injustice to us? How do we treat them? What are we supposed to do when a brother, uh, a fellow Christian, they do something against us? And God's word tells us exactly what we need to do for that. You know, what happens if we have unforgiveness? How do we deal with that? How, what, what about if we do really have a godly anger? How do we treat that? And so that's what we looked at today. And I think it's very vital for every one of us to understand how it is that we're supposed to treat anger because that is a real part of our lives. And if you'd like to listen to the whole sermon, you'll be able to find a link here. And if you'd like to look at the sermon notes, you can find them on there also. And I just invite you to come and join us for our small groups this week as we really look at this in more detail in how to deal with our anger according to what God's word says. Our anger, which is usually a self-centered anger. You know, we invite you to come and join us for uh, services next Sunday. And hopefully that uh, this uh, will be uh, a blessing to you. Uh, God bless you.